Right, so we begin with that story that at least 14 people have died in three separate road accidents between last evening and this morning. Ten people died after the 14 seat Matatu they were traveling in rolled at HZ area uh, along the Eld Eldred Eldama Ravine Road. Two others died in an accident at Matamar area in Londiani while a driver and his turn boy perished when their oil tanker caught fire in Webuye. We are now joined by John Wanyama. John Wanyama, good morning. He's at uh, the Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital, if I'm not mistaken. What can you tell us about uh, this accident that has killed eight people so far? Sam, it's a tragic uh, road accident that has ever witnessed on that particular road, Nyaru Eldama Ravine Road. And so far, as we have uh, said earlier, is that so far 11 people uh, have lost their lives and three are fighting for their lives here at Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital. We have been told that two are being st are now stable, but one is still uh, in a serious condition and the doctors are still working on it. They, we are being informed that the, the, the said Matatu, uh, the, according to the Count Commissioner whom we spoke, we spoke to earlier from Elgeo Maraquet has said that it, they are suspecting that this uh, a 14 seat Matatu maybe it was over speeding and it really uh, it lost control and then uh, hit a guardrail which uh, made this car to roll several times and causing uh, maybe eight people died on the spot and three died while they were being taken to hospital here at Moiting and, Ref and Referral Hospital. We have been informed that among those 11 who died, two assistants chiefs um, are also those people who have lost their lives and also we are being told that the driver who was uh, driving that particular car also died on arrival here at Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital. It's a sad thing and I, I, Sam on that particular road is really a meandering road and uh, there are no road signs and more of potholes are also on that particular road so drivers are being warned to be careful especially when they are really driving on that particular road. Let me talk to one of the relatives Mr. Gideon, if you can come closer to me here uh, to, to tell us maybe Ninini Kilfanyika, what wako wali umia na mnagani uangalia kamera, unaitwa nani na pengine Ninini Kiliweza Kifanyika? Okay, naitwa Gideon Koech. I'm a resident from Kamosor. Uh, uh, yesterday, uh, an horrific accident actually occurred at, at it was around 8 p.m. Uh, I think that the car lost control uh, and was it rolled. Uh, it rolled uh, seriously, and uh, it just happened like that. Uh, pengine they, uko, uko hapa pengine una uko na mtu wako ame ame umemleta hapo hospitalini na iwapo ni nani umeweza kumpoteza katika ajali hiyo? Yes, I lost my my friend uh, and my teacher. Uh, he was my math teacher at high school, but uh, I think uh, it's actually it's actually uh, sad. Yeah. Okay, hospital Okay, my neighbor. Yeah, my neighbor from at least uh, with God he survived. Yeah. Uh, he's stable now. Yeah, he's almost stable. Okay. Yeah. Pole sana. Yeah. Pole. Uh, Sam, let's also talk to uh, Elgeo Marakwet, uh, Deputy Governor, who, also, uh, who is just also here trying to visit these uh, uh, people who have survived. Governor, ha I'm sorry for this horrific uh, accident, and maybe how is this place? If you can just paint a picture to Kenyans, how it looks like. Uh, thank you very much, Wanyama. First and foremost, I want to say that uh, this is the most, uh, this is the darkest moment for us as Elgeo Marakwet County because we have not uh, experienced such an accident in the recent past. And uh, yesterday at around 7.30 p.m., uh, Amatatu, which was going, uh, which is plying the route between Eldoret and Ravine, in between, in a place called, said, that's one of our wards called Kabiemit, was involved in an accident. And uh, there is a place just before the center called it said center where the KVD are planning to have a dam which is uh, very sloppy and uh, it's a hot spot and uh, the worst thing is I think we don't have enough road signs there and we are told that the driver lost control and uh, the vehicle rolled several times and uh, we lost around seven people on the spot which was very tragic and uh, we lost one person when uh, he was being brought to MTRH and then we lost three at MTRH Hospital. We have three survivors, who two of them are fighting for their lives.
and uh, we wish them the very best and quick recovery. I've just been here to check on them and one has been discharged. That makes uh, the total number of casualties or those people who have left us 11 and these people to make it worse is that they come from almost the same vicinity. They were going home in the evening. The chiefs were at our headquarters uh, meeting the county commissioner yesterday and uh, they were going home. So we are really, we, we don't want to disclose much now because the families, majority of the family members may not be aware and we, we have sent people to talk to the families so that they can, they can uh, absorb the shock. And then as leadership of Elgay Marakwet County, we want to tell them we are with you that during this very trying moment. The, the entire county is mourning. All our leaders are mourning with us and uh, we, we will let her visit the families so that we can, we can at least co uh, comfort them. So uh, what I want to tell uh, the Kenya National Highways Authority is that uh, this road has been having a lot of portals uh, lately. Secondly, is that we have not marked that road. After, after the previous marks were, um, uh, were, uh, were not visible anymore, I think they should do something so that at least we can save lives. And they should mark it as an hotspot. Because now majority of the vehicles which are avoiding a lot of traffic in the main highway, they use this road, even those who are going to Nairobi. So it's a very important road for those who are going to Nairobi. They go through Kabarak to Nakuru and then they join the highway. So it means that um, it means that it's a high, it's a high traffic road. And um, these, these, these vehicles um, want to tell the traffic police that uh, it's even important that we check on these vehicles. So that when we are doing inspection, uh, or NTSA, when we are doing inspection, at least the brakes. Uh, I think this one was a, an issue of the brakes because we are told the driver struggled to control the vehicle, but he couldn't because I think the brakes had already failed. Mm -hmm. So we are really uh, sorry. And on behalf of the governor, Elgay Marakwet County, Engineer Alex Tolgos, on behalf of the great people of Elgay Marakwet, we convey our sincere condolences to the families and wish a quick recovery to the two who are currently in the in the uh, theater. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. That is Elgeo Marquez Gov County De Deputy Governor. And Sam, it's really a dark day for Elgeo Marquez County and entire, entirely the whole country. And we are still following up on this particular story, Sam. We'll come back to you to give more details in our subsequent bulletin.